Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel. Now, you know me, I'm a road racing kind of guy. I don't really do much else. But when I get a message from a guy called Osley here at Traction saying, Dave, do you think you can take on Pike's Peak? Well, of course I can. Then I looked at what Pike's Peak was, and it's a hill climb in Colorado, about 19 kilometers long, and the finish line is at 14,000 feet. So I do like a challenge. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try and complete the Pikes Peak hill climb from bottom to top at speed on my first attempt without crashing. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer. I have driven the first 500 meters or so just to make sure that my wheel and pedals all work, but I haven't driven any further than that. So for this one, we're gonna be driving a purpose-built car for this hill climb. So this is the Peugeot 208 T16. So it's four wheel drive, six speed, approaching 900 horsepower, but it's got lots and lots of downforce. So can I get from the bottom of Pike's Peak to the top without crashing? Let's find out. Here we go. I'm not confident. Right, this is the start. So it's not going to be the fastest run. If we can get to the top, I'll be very, very surprised. I don't do rally. I've never been on Pikes Peak before. No idea. I'm literally just driving it as if I'm on a normal road. I don't know the track at all. As you can probably tell. No doubt there's going to be some tight corners that catch me out, but I'll try and spot them as early as I can. I'm just looking at the trees in the distance to give us an idea of which way the road goes. I could have done with some kind of um, pace notes guy. What do they call him? A car driver? Oh, where's this go? Whoa. Whoa! Alright. It was intentional. So on the left hand side, you can see, so we're on stage two already. Blimey. I guess that's the hill we're going up. Run out of revs. Ah. Well, I'm gonna have to take it easy now. It's getting a little bit more twisty. Oh, didn't think I'd need the handbrake so soon. I guess when we get near the top, it's gonna be super tight and twisty. Ah! So near the end of stage three. Come on, David, you can do it. Nice and easy. Right, stage four. Looks tight. These guys must be absolutely crazy to do this in real life. Oh, trees. Get off there, get off there. Yeah, it's getting tighter now. So that's stage four, pretty much done. Right, 
Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. Is everybody all right? Oh, my word. So you've got to thank Orsley from Traction for this. He's the one that suggested that I do this. I'm beginning to think that this is some kind of practical joke. Set, let's, here, let's set Dave up. He'll never be able to do Pike, Pike's Peak. He doesn't do rally. He'll, ne he'll never finish it. He'll tear his hair out. So barriers mean danger. Look at that hill. Holy moly. I, I can't even count what stage we're on now. I can't take my eyes off the screen. It's only a matter of time before I go tumbling off this cliff. It takes longer to get the car stopped than you think. This is going far too well. Yeah, it's tight and twisted now. I'm going to need oxygen soon. This is looking a bit sketchy. I'm not going to lie. A bit of straight road. Relief. Just wait for imminent death. And that was it. Almost. On stage 10, I think, of 12. This is this is so much harder than it probably looks. Literally don't know where the road goes. No, no. Oh, I thought it was off the cliff there. This is stage 12. Come on, Dave, you can do it.
your face, Osley. 834.829. Can anybody beat that? Let's see. So there we go. We did it genuinely on our first ever attempt. Yes, I could have gone up there much, much quicker, but I didn't really fancy going off the edge of the cliff. And I think Osley needs to come up with some much tougher challenges. Easy. So on 8 minutes 34, can you do better? Have you got Dirt Rally? This is the only place where you can race the official version of Pike's Peak. 8.34 to beat. Can you do it? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. Keep it pinned.